Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the rate called question number of good pairs. So you are given array of integers num, return the number of good pairs. A pair i, j is called good if um, i number equal j number and the uh, index i is less than j. Okay, so let me explain how we think about the solution. I think uh, the simplest way to solve this question is brute force like this. So we use uh, two for loops and uh, i start from uh, index 0 to last and j start from i plus 1 to last index. And uh, if we uh, if uh, two numbers um, are same, uh, we count plus 1, and uh, in the end, total number of uh, this count should be a uh, return value. So in this case, space complexity is O1. That is good. But time complexity is O n square. And uh, actually, this brute force passed all the test cases and got success. But in the other interview, um, on square is not good for the most cases. So can we improve the time complexity? So that's how I started thinking like, about the on time. So to improve time complexity, I thought I need to keep number of occurrence of each previous number. So in the case, uh, what, do, what data structure do you use? My answer is to use hash map to keep number of occurrence of each previous number. Key is uh, each number and the value is uh, cumulative numbers of each value that I found before. So why do we need the cumulative numbers of each value? That's because when we find a new same number in data index, we are sure we can create a number of occurrence of the same number pairs with the number we found this time. So let me explain a um, simple and a concrete example. Okay, so now we have 111. And uh, let's iterate through one by one. And uh, this is a hash map. And the uh, initial is uh, like empty. And uh, this is a count. So this is the number of pair we found. And uh, in this case, so total pair is, number of total pair is three. So zero, one, zero, two, or one, two. So let's iterate through one by one. And uh, first of all, we find one, right? And uh, if and the same key, we, we have the same key in hash map, and then calculate the um, discount number. This is a return value. So with cumulative number of current values so far. So this hash map ha uh, has uh, like a cumulative number of current values so far, but uh, there's no data, right? In that case, just uh, add one. So this key is coming from each value. And the uh, value is number of occurrence. Um, so in this case, one, right? And then um, next, we find one again. And uh, first of all, check uh, hash map if we have same key. So we have, right? We have one, right? So in that case, um, first of all, add this value, a cumulative value to count, in this case, one, right? And then, so, as I told you, this is a cumulative number. So we uh, found, found a new one. So that's why now one occurrence of one is two, right? So this one indicates, so this pair, right? Index zero and index one, because we are now index one, right? This combination. And then move next. Again, we find one. So check hash map if we have one. So we have one, right? So now uh, cumulative number is two. So that's why add this two to um, count. So in the case, three. Then um, this is a new one. So add plus one to um, cumulative number. So three. Then finish. So now um, total number of pair is three. So that means, so this is indicates so zero one we already found and uh, this time so zero two and one two right like a uh, zero two and one two and uh, this one is here and total three right that's why uh, we can return three in this case so that is a basic idea to solve this question so with that being said let's get into the code Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, initialize hash map. So let's say pairs equal hash map. And then count equals zero. So this is a return value. 
and then iterate through one by one. So length of nums. And if nums, I current number find pairs, so pairs. So in the case count plus equal pairs, and the key should be current number, so nums and the i. So after that, so every time, so pairs current number equal pairs dot get and the current number default value should be zero and plus one. So every time we find a number and the, the value of pairs hash map is like a cumulative number. So every time we need to plus one, right? Easy. And then uh, in the end, just return count. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n because we iterate through all numbers one by one here. And the space complexity is also O n for like a hash map. So it depends on size of input array nums. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.